so I'm going to show you how to save a little bit of money on hooks. So I got this pack for 50 cents, I think. It was a 99 cents. It was on clearance. Five odd. Look like circle hooks or octopus hooks. You know, I like to use a lot of these for my bait fishing for stripers and catfish. So we're going to go ahead and rip that bad boy open, right? So we know we got our hook, right? I like to buy hooks like this. And as you can see, let me zoom in. All right, so now we got our hook here, right? Let's go ahead and get them separated. Take our fingernail clippers. Rip that bad boy off. Would you look at that? I just got me a hook as good as any $5 pack right there. Right? I mean, mind you, you're going to have to take a couple seconds to take this piece off, but well worth it. I mean, if I could save 4 or $5 extra and have that for bait or whatever, that's awesome. So there we go. Right? That's a pretty damn good hook. 5 odd. Well, I don't think it's quite a 5 odd offset, but whatever. So we're going to save money on our hook. Now, the reason we're here. Let's see if we can see this fishing line in here. We're going to tie a double reverse improved clinch knot. So we're going to run it through our hook eye. Right? That's one time. Now we're going to run it through our hook eye one more time. So it goes through twice. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to let our hook fall and we're going to pinch the lines together. We're going to fold back to our hook. See what I did there? I pretty much just ran it backwards. We're going to hold that together and now we are going to go around this one. You can go around anywhere from 6 to 12, 15 times, as many times as you would like. The thinner the line, the more times I would go around it. And then when we get around it enough times, we're going to go ahead and pull it tight. And it will clinch itself up. We're going to pull our tag in a little bit. And yeah, pretty much double reverse clinch. Here, we'll go ahead and make this a leader line real quick. Show you guys one more time. So we got our freaking cheap hook because you know we don't want to waste a lot of money on them. We're going to take our fingernail clippers, we're going to cut all this off and separate it. All right, so now we got our, we got our hook. Bam, we just saved a dollar. Somebody's calling real quick. Get to that there. All right. There's our hook. We go through our hook eye two times. One time we went through it. Right. We went through it one time. Now we're gonna go through it again. Right. So we went through our hook eye twice. Now we're going to bring that same line back here. And we're going to pull our hook forward, right? See that? Bam. Now we're going to go around it. Here, let me cut that tag in. That's really long. All right. Sound a little bit better to work with. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to run it through up here again, through our top loop, pull our knot over everything, bam, you can see our knot is getting clinched up up in there, we're going to clinch it down to the hook, pull our tag in and we're going to clip our tag in. Ta-da! We just made a leader, saved a couple bucks. Taught you guys how to tie a hook. That hook is called a double reverse clinch knot. I love it, it's the only hook I use. I would 
definitely recommend using it. Once again, that's the double reverse clinch knot. Enjoy.